be able to monitor your heart rate and know your heart rate because if your goal, and there's a lot of reasons to work out. You may work out to build your stamina and endurance for a healthier career. You may be working out to lose weight. You may be working out to improve your performance because you want to do a triathlon. There's different ways to work out to achieve different objectives. This is extraordinarily important. And I commented on this and talked about this on a web a few weeks back, and I got a number of people that were interested and that I helped with this. Here's the deal. We go to the club, we go to the gym, and we see a young lady at the gym. She goes to the gym five days a week. She gets on a Stairmaster, an elliptical, a treadmill, or a bike, and she runs like hell for an hour. And she does it five days a week. And she hasn't lost a pound in five years. And there's a reason for it. She's working too hard for fat burning. The goal is not to raise your maximum heart rate higher than 80% of your maximum. 220 minus your age is your maximum heart rate. Times 0.80 is 80% of your maximum heart rate. North of 80% of your maximum heart rate, you are burning muscle. Your body is freaking out going, oh my God, she's working me too hard. I cannot do this. I need more energy. I'm going to consume what is most readily available, which is muscle. And you burn muscle. That's why that young lady never burns any fat. If she slows down, and every treadmill's got a heart rate monitor, grab the handle if you're not wearing one, and look to see what 80, know what your 80% number is, and, and it's it counterintuitive. I am telling you to burn fat, slow down. You want to stay on the treadmill for an hour? Slow down and keep your heart rate under your 80% maximum. You will burn. If the goal is to burn fat, if the goal is to lose weight through cardiovascular exercise, 80% of your maximum heart rate. That right there will change your game huge. Because people, they work literally too hard and they end up, instead of burning fat, they end up burning muscle. So for every little bit of muscle you build, you burn a little more. And you end up going nowhere. You're, literally, you're on a treadmill. You're on a hamster wheel. Question? It's kind of like, I feel like I should remember this from now. Do you do 220 minus your age? 220 minus your age. Let's say you're 20 years old. 220. Yeah, let's, say let's say you're 20. Okay, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? You're 20. So 220 minus 20 is 200 times 0.80 is 160. That means your 80% of maximum heart rate is 160 beats per minute. If you want to burn fat, don't let your heart rate go north of 160. Simple. Mine is 220 minus a different number times 0.80. Okay.